Business for good means to me that business has something to bring to the table to have major impact, not just for the business itself, but its many stakeholders. In short, it's all about societal impact. There is not a problem on this planet that will be solved without multiple disciplines coming to the table to work on these things. And without business there, it's very hard to get real actions happening. I think some of the challenges involved with doing for business for good, first is really changing your mindset. I think oftentimes we always think about business being just about the money. Now, I'm hopeful that right now what's going on is you're seeing a real change in that paradigm. So students who I am meeting who come to the College of Business here at LMU really are much more purpose driven. They want to do something that is meaningful and that has impact. So when we start talking about what does it mean to do the triple bottom line, that's kind of the paradigm shift. It says, yeah, you have to be able to make a profit because no matter how much good you want to do in the world, eventually you're going to need resources to make it happen. But to do that with a triple bottom line perspective is fundamentally about also recognizing that you have to pay attention to all the stakeholders, people in the room, the communities, and the planet. Uh, we can't make anything happen if we're not conscious of the fact that the planet is a living, breathing. Well, one of the things that I think really means a lot to me is the notion that as a college, we are affiliated with PRIME, Principles for Responsible Management Education. And what that means is that we are holding ourselves accountable to making an impact with respect to the sustainable development goals. There are 17 goals. They run the gamut from everything from building infrastructure for sustainable cities to poverty to climate change. It's the planet, it's the people, it's how tri-sector innovation happens where organizations come together to make a difference. And I think as a college dean, one of the things that excites me about those SDGs is it shows you that you can pick any one of those 17. And the challenge is who should be at the table to work on these things. You're going to need the scientists. You're going to need the sociologists and anthropologists. But you're also going to need business leaders in a position to really help work together to bridge technology and expertise with technical and, and the technical know-how, along with what are the business models that make it possible and doable. To make any kind of major difference, you have to look at three things. Is it desirable? Will people want it? You know, and is it viable and feasible? I mean, can we build it? And if we build it, can we do it in a resource effective way? When all of those come together, you're understanding more than just the nature of the problem. You're understanding markets, you're understanding resources and what it takes, and you're understanding who needs to be at the table in order to really solve the problem from a multidisciplinary perspective.